and welcome to Blue Army TV. I'm sitting after Carl have beaten Rochdale 1-0 away from home in what definitely wasn't our best game of the season. We really weren't comfortable in, in it in the end. Um, but it's the type of games you're going to have to win if you're going to get promoted because you're not going to play well every week. You're not going to play like you did at Hartlepool every week. Um, but if you can grind out a 1-0 result, get a good goal, you know, keep the team off your back... Um, then you're going to get as many points as possible because it was a good, good three points today. We didn't play well at all. We had a good start. I think Rochdale were absolutely dreadful in the first 20 minutes. I think that 20 minutes from Rochdale was probably the worst I've seen, the worst performance from a team I've seen us play all season. And Carlisle looked really comfortable with it. Um, and we scored the goal, Kimani Gordon, two goals in three games for him now. What a goal that was. It was such a nice finish through the keeper's legs as well. Uh, lovely one-on-one. -on -one. You know, we don't we we went through a phase not so long ago of not being able to score these one-on-ones, and that was the problem. You know, it was towards the start of this season where we would just miss a lot of one-on-ones. But uh, I, I always thought Patrick had a, a, a bit of a skill for one-on-ones with the keeper, and um, Kimani Gordon obviously looks like he's got that as well because it was a nice finish. It was a lovely run through, a brilliant, brilliant pass from Christian Dennis. That's um, you know, he's he's lost his uh, goal continuous record now but um, it's, an, it's another assist to add to his name uh, of goal contributions I suppose but yeah what result it's it's against bottom of the league and we should have played a lot better than we did we should have been more comfortable than we did you know I really thought we bottled it right at the end when they scored for 1-1 obviously it turns out to be offside and looking back on the replay it definitely was offside but you know it's a difficult one to be because this is a team that have got a couple of new signings in. They've just signed Reese Bennett as well. Couldn't play today, and they're fighting for everything at the bottom of the league. You know, they and they're they're down there for a reason because they're not a very good team. And you saw that in instances, but they're fighting for it. And it was that kind of game. It was that kind of gritty game that you've just got to try and wear out. That you've just got to try and keep hold of your advantage, and see out the game. And that's exactly what we did. I think. We, look, we, Paul Simpson. I don't think he'll be happy with that result. Uh, with that game even, he'll be happy with the result, he won't be happy with the performance. I just think, look, coming into the first half, I think all three of our centre-backs were on a booking at one point, and if not, I don't know how John Mellish escaped it, because I know Feeney was, and I know Huntington was. I'm not sure if Mellish got booked, but there's always that there's always that danger with John Mellish that he'll get booked, and I'm, I'll be very surprised if he didn't with some of the tackles I saw him do today. But yeah, y you've got all, you've all three of your centre-backs looking a little bit dodgy on yellow cards and it's never going to be easy the referee was very very uh, card happy I think it was I'll give the EFL credit because the last few games we've played I don't think the referees have been much of an issue because there was, a, there was a period at the start of the season where referees were ruining every single game that we went to whether for us or against us because I'm not going to be one of these fans that sits here and complains when the referee's decision goes against me and then stay completely silent when it happens the other way, because I think that's very unfair, and I think it's that thing of, um, you know, I can't complain about it when it happens to me if I don't not acknowledge it when it happens to other people. But today was one of those games where the referee just looked incompetent. <laughs> for, for both teams, I think. I think he, he let us off with some stuff, and then was so, so trigger-happy with his yellow cards. I'm surprised no one got sent off. For both sides, he was poor. He made some really strange decisions. Um, and then, you know, the linesman doesn't give the offside originally, and he has to go over to the referee. Now, I assume what that conversation was like was the referee's gone over and said, is that offside? The linesman's gone, if he's taken a touch, if the man who flicked it onto him has touched the ball, then it's offside. If not, then it's onside. And I think that's why he didn't put his flag up straight away, because I think that conversation probably did happen between the two. The referee who's had a better angle of it has probably gone and said... It's come off the man's head. If he's offside, when the ball's played through from the flick on header, then he's offside. And I think the the flag the, the linesman's gone. Yeah, then it's definitely offside. And then they've ruled it out, and that's why it wasn't an in, an instantaneous decision. But look, referees at this level are a little bit dodgy at the minute, <laughs> and I'm just happy that we've won the game today. I think it's three wins on the bounce now. We're looking good. Northampton won it today as well. You know, Barrow are never going to do us a favour. I don't think. But we're now, I think, six points into the playoffs. Six points off fifth as well. The other four playoff places are taken up by teams who are all on 42 points. 
Uh, we're six point ahead of them on 48. You know, we're in a good position. And it seems to be, when you look at the table, first and second place are fighting for a position. Third and fourth and players are fighting each other. And then you've got the rest of the league all fighting for playoffs. Because, you know, there's a, there's a, two battles. Um, first and second are obviously fighting for the title. Third and fourth are obviously fighting for that third place finish. And then you've got about ten teams all fighting for the playoffs. Because it's a very, very close league. And I'm so happy that we're starting to drift away from the rest of the league now. Even if it does come with dodgy performances like the one today. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been the case for far too long where you look at the position in the table and you think, oh, we're fourth. But when you look at it a bit more closely, one loss could see us go down to 10 for something like that. Where now we're starting to create a bit of a gap between the top four and the rest of the league. And I'm just so happy we're on the right side of that gap. And we deserve it with how we've been playing recently. And we deserve it because we've managed to grind out a result today. 1,600 Carlisle fans there today. I, I can't really put into words how brilliant that is from our support base think of the drive that we have to do i i'm i was gonna go myself i'm gutted i didn't but i had something come up and i had to i couldn't travel down in the morning but i'm just so so proud to be part of the carla fan base at the minute because 1600 to win away day in rochdale rochdale is not a nice place to travel to with all due respect to the people of rochdale it's not a great away day it's not really a nice ground i've done it in the past i remember seeing us get beat there when they were in league one and we played them in the in the league cup and i think there was only like 300 at the time but look our sport has gone mad at the minute it's brilliant 1600 at a league two game away from home you know there's certain clubs like salford and forest green that'll get that at a home game and we're getting it really really convincingly away from home it's so so impressive and i think if there's any fan base that deserves a team playing the way that Carlisle are at the minute, it is the Cumbrian fan base because they've put so much support into this team. Home attendances are going up, away attendances are going up. We had five and a half thousand on a Tuesday night, you know. And and you look at the at, uh, the attendances before and after that, and I think they were maybe up to the six thousand level, and you think they've gone down, but you know, Tuesday night games it's they're hard to get to. The attendance will go down, but yeah. Brilliant, brilliant result today. Not quite a brilliant performance, but, you know, we got the job done, which is all that matters in the end. It's a results-driven business. And, uh, yeah, happy days. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And uh, in a bit, 